Howdy folks, Steampunk Desperado here. This week I don't have a regular review show, but I do have a brief preview of one of my works in progress. This is a military sci-fi novel called Diana's Fury. Now, I've never done this genre before, so it's been a lot of fun and something I'm really excited about. It started out as a novella and just kept expanding until I have a 120,000 word novel, which is probably be a doorstop if it's printed in paper. It happens in 2049, in which the U.S. military has developed a new weapon, and that is the Drone Corps. It's not like today's drones, in which it's just like a video game, you're sitting in a console in Arizona somewhere. No, it's a very uh, sophisticated cyberpunk deal where you merge into the drone. The senses of the drone become yours, and the control is immediate. This means that the pilots have to be located near the battlefront and they place them in these high-tech airships that the pilots affectionately call motherships, which is why it's a Navy thing. So one of the wrinkles I introduced is that it's a very rare talent. Most people can't handle all this data coming directly into their nervous system. It drives them nuts. So they have to search far and wide for the one out of 10,000 who can do it. And it so happens that they are all women. So we have an entirely female drone corps in this male-dominated Navy, and it's kind of an interesting wrinkle. It's maybe a commentary on the different strengths and weaknesses of the sexes. So our protagonist is a young, plucky Serbian woman. She was recruited outside the country because the Navy is so eager to take these candidates away from our rival nations. And she was recruited as part of the American Drone Corps fighting in Borneo. She has the challenge of getting the respect of her teammates, who are mostly Americans, and her rival team leader is a former movie star who researched it while making a movie and decided she loved flying too much to be an actress. In Borneo, where they're based, they are fighting Islamic militants and they are fighting uh, warlords who want to steal the country's resources. The enemy has developed these technologies to try and counteract the drones because the drones are a pretty awesome weapon and it, it they attack the data stream between the pilot and the aircraft and sometimes from jamming sometimes from spoofing but in any case it, it risks crashing the drone and also damaging the pilot's brain because there might be feedback now on one of these missions they encounter sabotage an attack on their airship where the pilots are based and Rujana ends up in the jungle with her hated rival, the actress, struggling to survive and to get back to the Navy as their comms been damaged and they're having trouble reaching somebody. At the same time, they begin to wonder, has something gone wrong? Is there an insider? Is there a conspiracy? Is somebody trying to sabotage the drone corps? I have completed this novel, but... <laughs> I decided to rewrite part three, so I'm currently rewriting part three to make it a better resolution to these conspiracies and these questions that arise earlier in the novel. I anticipate being done late this year. I'm going to try to find an agent so I can publish this traditionally. Although if I can't, I will probably still do it in a self-published manner. So look forward to that. I think you'll love it. I think it's going to be great fun. I believe it'll be well received and I will keep you posted with various progress reports as time goes by. For now, this is the Steampunk Desperado saying adios amigos from the Steampunk Desperado channel where the past meets the future and the present is extraordinary.